Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Doug Sells. I am Doug, and this is a sales update video. This is a sales update video. It goes back to when I first started reselling again, uh, back at the beginning of this year. So I just want to go over a few sales that I've made. Uh, it's really slow right now. Like getting back into this has been very, very slow, and it's been a little frustrating. That's okay. We're going to figure it out. Uh, for those of you that are new, I'm a part-time reseller. I work a full-time job during the day, and I resell on the side for extra money. Let me explain real quick how I do my listings and which platforms I sell on. When I take a batch of pictures uh, in my picture room over there, I first upload them. Well, I, I take all the pictures, and then I just like sit down on the couch, and I upload them to Instagram at my Blues City Vintage account on Instagram. And they go up there and I do all the hashtags and whatnot and hopefully somebody will buy it from there. That way I can get a Venmo payment and there's no fees or anything like that, you know? That's that's ideal, that's ideal. From there, after I've uploaded everything to Instagram, I then come to eBay and I do my listings on eBay. So that's step number three. Step number one is take pictures. Number two, Instagram. Number three, get it on eBay. I'm gonna add a fourth step, and I don't think it'll be too much. I don't, but I just can't not try to sell on Poshmark. Poshmark is huge. It is extremely huge, and I have a pretty large Poshmark account with a lot of followers. Uh, it's not Blue City Vintage on uh, Poshmark, it's Doug Sells, just like the channel name. Yeah, so that's my store or my closet, they call it, on Poshmark. So with all that being said, let me let me show you what I've sold uh, since I re started reselling again. I don't have every item up here, but I'm just gonna go over a few items with you first we're gonna go to ebay and the first item we're gonna look at is a vintage item it says horrell's pit barbecue and on the back it says uh pit barbecue has a phone number and has an address and that address is here in memphis tennessee where i live so this is a very old shirt from the 70s let's look at oh i don't think i took a picture of the tag because the tag is kind of illegible uh, not legible as you can see right there but i had this up for sale for $24.99 and somebody messaged me and said they would give me $20 for it i think that is a very fair offer so i took i took the offer at $20 plus shipping and handling the the buyer paid shipping and i netted $18.52 from this cell. Okay, next we have a vintage 1970s Omega Psi Phi fraternity. I think that's how you say the PSI, but it's a fraternity shirt from the 70s. And we're gonna look at the tag here. And that's a sportswear tag from the 70s. New right away. This I've seen some of these sportswear tags go into the 80s, uh, like the early 80s, but most of them are in the 70s. So we called it 1970s shirt. I put the I, I put the the measurements too, so they can see the actual measurements rather than just um, me typing them out in the description. Uh, I'm hope I'm hoping that's helpful to some people. But I was able to get full asking price for this one, 29.99 plus shipping and handling. And I let's see how much did I get for this one. I netted $26.84 on this sale. All right, next, this is uh, this is one that I found. It's a million dollar cowboy bar in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. It had the 90s Hanes Beefy T tag, as you can see right there. I didn't think this was gonna be a high money shirt for me. And it was actually kind of dirty and uh, had some stains on it. So when somebody made me an offer of $10, to get rid of this one, I went ahead and got rid of it. This is not one that I was gonna sit on for a while because I think I can get that five extra dollars. So I went ahead and took the $10 offer just to get it out of the store. And I netted $9.66 from this sale. I think this t-shirt cost me a dollar. All right, next is a non-vintage 
t-shirt now uh, back in the day when I used to make these videos you would always see me selling life is good t-shirts I am still going to do that these things are popular they're trendy uh, people love them and there's all sorts of different kinds of these t-shirts as you can see right here um, there's a little dog here cruising there are so many little pictures like this on these shirts and a lot of them they don't sell anymore so the only way you can get them is second hand so people look for them and there's the little mascot the little life is good mascot but anyway this shirt sold for full asking price $14.99 plus $6.15 shipping um, and I netted $14.09 off of this the next one is another life is good shirt He's hiking, he's walking his dog. It sold pretty much either the same day or the day after. And I got full asking price for this one, $14.99 plus $6.15 shipping and handling. And I netted $13.90 off this one. All right, next, these kind of go together. There's two here. The same person bought both of these. I had them up for $49.99 and he sent me an offer. He wanted to buy both of them for $40. And he wanted a break on shipping because he didn't want to pay 1040 shipping for each one. So I told him, let me print the label out, get it weighed. And however much I owe you back, I will refund that back to you. So I did. I forget how much I refunded him back. It, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a lot, but I got $40 a piece for these jerseys, which is good in my mind because they were selling for around $50 anyway. So... It wasn't too far off of what I really wanted from it. And uh, so I netted $32.90 a piece from these jerseys. And that came to a total to be $65.80 net. That's after fees and shipping and everything. So pretty good sell. All right, here's a cool little sweatshirt. I found this uh, at a thrift store. I remember when I got it. I found this at a thrift store in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I stepped, a, stepped in a thrift store just looked around. And uh, this is... La Jolla Beach and tennis club like tennis club crew neck sweatshirt. It's in California, I believe. La Jolla Beach is. I got full asking price for it. $24.99 uh, plus nine dollars and thirty-five since shipping and handling. Now, this is calculated shipping. So I weigh these and I put you know I put the information in and it calculates it based on the the buyer. So it looks like they paid nine dollars and thirty-five cents. Or actually, this is calculating to my address, <laughs> so I don't know how much they pay. <laughs> so, but regardless, it was a good sell. There you can see it. It was in great condition. Uh, there is a 1980s Hanes tag, in case you wanted to see that. So for this sweatshirt, let's see. I netted twenty-three dollars and fifty-six cents. I think this sweatshirt cost me about three dollars. Here's one from the seventies. This one says nuke the Ayatollah. So it's a very political, very war oriented type shirt. And I, I tried selling this before when I was reselling before I tried selling this for all different types of prices. So, uh, and it wouldn't sell for any high prices. So I put it at $29.99. It was not in that great of shape. Like it's kind of, it's worn and it's, I don't know. People like shirts like this though, but the tag is not leg legible. You can see it's like kind of broken up there. So um, we have the measurements here. And this person paid full asking price, uh, $29.99 plus shipping and handling. And I netted $26.11 from the sale. All right, next we have a vintage Ford Street Ride t-shirt. Uh, and on the back it says hammered and has a street rod on it. Pretty cool shirt. The coloring's cool. And you can see the date here is from 1989. And there is your screen stars tag from the late eighties, early to mid nineties. There's the measurements. Got full asking price at $24.99 plus shipping and handling for this one. And I netted $23 and six cents. So that was pretty cool. All right, and the last one we have, uh, well not the, not the total last one, but this is a vintage 1980s Sturgis Motorcycle Rally t-shirt from 1989, actually. So uh, there's no tag in it, but it, it is single stitch. It has the single stitch in the sleeves. And it, like I said, it says 1989 on the shirt. It's very thin, very lightweight. I got full asking price for this. 
Now, the bad thing about this shirt is it just says Sturgis Motorcycle Rally on it. If it had like a Harley Davidson emblem or something like that, this would be worth way more. I may could have gotten like $24.99 for this. As it stands, I got $19.99 plus shipping and handling for this. And I netted $18.10 from this sale. Now, I have been selling a lot on Instagram too. I've sold close to, you know, eight, nine, maybe 10 items on Instagram since I started reselling again at the beginning of the year. What I was doing though, this is before I knew I was going to restart my YouTube channel. What I was doing though, as soon as it, whatever sold on my Instagram or whatever sold on eBay, I would go to my Instagram and I would delete that post. I would delete that post and I kind of had a thing in my account saying, if it's listed, it's available. But now, since I'm doing the YouTube channel, I want to show you guys what I'm selling. So I did make a sale actually yesterday on my Instagram. And as you can see here, Instagram is having trouble loading on the web version. So I'll just, I don't know. I, I, let me just show you, I guess, let me just bring up my phone and just show you. Hold on, let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. It's an Albert Pujols jersey, you see that? It's an Albert Pujols jersey, a Cardinals jersey, uh, as a majestic jersey. There's the front. Maybe one day the web browser will work and I can just like, you can see, get a better picture of this. And there's the tag, there's the majestic tag. I listed it for $50 on my Instagram and literally within about 10 minutes, a girl messaged me and said, I want this jersey. And so what I did, I said, great, you, it's yours, you can have it. And then I told her how I would like to receive a payment. I prefer Venmo because Venmo, you can add the seller protection um, option. So when you add the seller protection, it really, and I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, that's when I'm buying stuff through Venmo. So never mind. If you're buying stuff through Venmo, you want to use the seller protection option because if you get scammed or something like that, you're protected and you'll get your money back because I did get scammed about a month ago. A guy was trying to sell me some t-shirts through Instagram and I sent him $350 to buy 20 t-shirts and he scammed me. He never sent the t-shirts and then blocked my account, did all that stuff. Uh, luckily, uh, Venmo got me my, my money back. So I prefer to use Venmo because I think both parties are protected that way. So I gave her my Venmo and she sent me $50 and then she sent me her address and I went to PayPal. If you go into PayPal, they have a, here, let me bring it up. Okay, here's my PayPal. And as you see, like right down here, uh, it says payment to ship station, $5.93. That was what her label cost when I printed it out. But if you go here to PayPal shipping, you don't have to make a purchase through PayPal at all. You just come here and you go to create new quick label and you go here and you put your address. This is my new address. And then you put their name and address and then you put the information for the package and it calculates the rate for you. It's very convenient. Uh, cool PayPal will let you do that even though you're not making a transaction through PayPal. All right guys, so that's it. That's my first sales update. Like I said, uh, sales are really slow right now. So I don't know when I'll have enough sales again to uh, do another sales update video. Last week I did add to my listings the options where people could uh, send me offers on all of my listings. I was trying to generate some sales. I figured if some people saw that they could send me an offer, then maybe they would. Uh, it didn't really ramp up my sales at all. Uh, I did that for about a week. Now what I've done, I've canceled that. You can't send me offers anymore, but I've, I'm running a 15% off sale in my store right now, and I'm gonna do that for a week. I'm gonna see if that generates any sales. After that, I'm gonna have to try free shipping. Cause that's that's the only thing missing and, and shipping just seems so expensive right now through ebay and with usps uh, i know it's mainly usps but it just seems so expensive right now I, I, people just aren't wanting to pay shipping so i'm gonna try to like get away with getting free shipping but maybe raise the prices just a little bit you know so i'm not out that money but we'll we'll try it out and see like I said, I'll be adding stuff to Poshmark, so maybe we'll get some Poshmark sales in there. Yeah, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button for me. Comment. Let's hear what you've been selling. 
if you got any tips or ideas for me, I'd love to hear them. You got, you got like a hot, anything that's hot that's selling right now, I'd like to hear what you're selling. And if you're new, subscribe and come back. We're going to do this on a weekly basis, guys. All right, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.